everyone, welcome to Arrival Heights. We're on the uh, Hunt Point Peninsula of Ross Island in Antarctica and I'm going to give you a little tour of the Arrival Heights Atmospheric Laboratory run by uh, Antarctica New Zealand. It's an ASPA, meaning it's a scientifically protected area, no electromagnetic noise. It's been operational, um, Arrival Heights has been here since probably the 50s doing different aurora and radio stuff but now we're looking at ozone and some uh, upper winds and atmospheric stuff. A little building Here's a house, here's a door, windows, one, two. And we're inside, this is the cold porch of Arrival Heights, where we keep all the scientific equipment, but it doesn't need to be heated. Behind you is the toilet, and over there is some cylinder racks. Now we go inside, have a look around, eh? G'day again. Right, we're in the hallway. This is the foyer. We can take off our clothes here. Any good Kiwi, part of the Antarctic New Zealand program, I'm signing in. Because this is an ASPA, so I've got to record my details when I arrive. Who I am. What I'm doing here. And when I'll leave. Okay. This is the hallway, and here we've got a lab with a big LiDAR run by the American uh, University of Colorado. They're looking at mesospheric winds, and we've got an air sampling unit. We'll go look soon. Over in this room, we've got a Fourier transform interferometer and a Dobson spectrophotometer looking at trace gases in the atmosphere, mainly ozone, greenhouse gases, um, pollutants, and some in situ sampling for ozone in this one for uh, yeah, in-situ ozone, and we've got um, UV-Vis spectrometers, maxed OS spectrometers, run by NIWA. Um, I'm very NIWA biased. NIWA is the National Institute of Warrior Atmosphere in New Zealand, but there's also other experiments running here. There's some from the University of Canterbury, and there's, uh, as I said, the one from Colorado. Um, University of Otago has a uh, radio uh, antenna to listen to low-frequency um, noise. Noise. In here, it's the smoker room, most important room. Okay, let's go look at a few rooms now. Okay, first up is the, uh, we'll go look at the Dobson and the Brooker. Ta-da! Down there's the Brooker. And over here is the Dobson. With a periscope and hatch. And a light on. Over here is a 120M Brooker with a solar tracker up there. Pretty exciting stuff. Okay, on to the next room. So we've got some curtains up there that protect from stray light from the instruments, or mostly solar spectroscopy based instrumentation. We've got a weather station over there, a mercury pressure gauge that's not really used anymore, and in situ ozone analyzer TEI-39, a zenith viewing spectrometer, aardvark, 
University of Otago, Craig Rogers. That has an HF antenna out there. A JY Niwa Lauder built UV Viz spectrometer system. And you can't see much up here. Let's see if I can hoist it up. And we'll go to the ADAS2, which is run in conjunction with the University of Heidelberg. This is a Max OS system that is just currently not turned on at the moment because I'm doing some maintenance. The spectrometer is actually in here. Okay, we've got a really big LiDAR system to look at some mesospheric temperatures. And we've got a flask sampling system, using it from the mast outside. We've got small flasks collected over here. And we've got big cylinders to collect about 800 psi there for carbon monoxide, carbon 14 isotope analysis. Coming down the side of the laser. We have the University of Canterbury's mesospheric wind Doppler radar. I can make the noise. So we come to have a break after we do work up at Arrival Heights. Pretty simple. No running water, we just use we just bring up our own water. We've got a fridge and a microwave, we've got a kettle and or a jug, that's the main thing. Okay, as I mentioned, we've got quite a lot of equipment here that um, has got to look up into the atmosphere and look at the sun or the moon or open up hatches for the LiDAR lasers to get out. So we'll go up on the roof and have a look. Come with me. Beautiful night at Rival Heights. October 2014. We're gonna go up onto the roof now. So we're looking out towards the Royal Societies, nearly directly westwards, southwest. This is the Met Mast sampling from for your sampling and also take wind measurements and all that. Okay, we're up on the roof. Big walkway all the way around for health and safety but also great access. Up there is uh, the American lab, various hatches and solar tracking um, equipment.